Oh, I love the smell of burning plastic in the morning. Hey, welcome to Midnight Science Club. This is a secret meeting. Shh, no kids. You notice I don't have any assistants, no wits, no wizards in training, mainly because <clears throat> I don't know the answer to this activity. I'm trying to figure it out. You notice I have my uh, love beads on from 1964, back when I had hair down to my shoulders and weighed 75 pounds less than I do now. There, back in my hippie days. I was a love child. And one of the things we would do in the chem lab, we took uh, styrene, I think it's styrene plastic, and would weave it together. We didn't have anything better to do. And you notice I made this, this is my safety device. I just wanted you to see this. It's made, you know, because I don't want to burn my fingers. So I'm just going to take this plastic, and we used to do this in the evenings with nothing better to do. This is kind of sad, really. But we would light it on fire, and you'd see it drip. But if you listen very carefully, it makes a noise. Zit, 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 zit. You hear it? I don't know what causes that noise. And it really works well in a dark room. We'll turn the studio lights eventually and, and do it in the dark. But you know, we're a bunch of chemistry grad students or whatever, and we're sitting there. This is the way we, we would uh, entertain ourselves out on the patio. And we noticed that that plastic would make the strangest noise. All we're doing is burning plastic, but it makes a neat noise. So I thought I would investigate it today just a little bit. So th this is just uh, sandwich bags. We cut them and, and wove them into a, a little rope. So I'm gonna put that one out. That one by sandwich bag trial. Let's try a different plastic. Here is some uh, milled plastic. Just some plastic sticks. It looks like a swizzle stick from a bar or something like this, but I think that's acrylic plastic. I think this is a more refined plastic, so I wonder if it's gonna make the same noise. The fact that it's burning is of no consequence to me uh, much at all, other than it makes a neat pattern at night when the lights are out. It's almost like a poor man's strobe light, but the noise that it makes when it burns, uh, but the noise is not there. It's very close to the same material, but this, I think, has been maybe refined too much. I don't know. Okay, so much for the noise on that one. So I guess this is very dense plastic. It doesn't generate a noise when it falls through the air. Okay, so much for the clear plastic rod. I'll put that out. Let's try another one. So here's nylon rope. We'll see if it generates the, the secret noise. The vit, vit, vit. The secret of the vit. Can you believe this is what I do for a living? I can't believe this. Are you gonna make a noise or not? Oh. It's making a noise, but it's a different tone. It's like baritone and bass and alto and tenor. This is kind of a baritone. So the nylon, but it's a loose weave, it's not solid like the other one. Oh yeah, so maybe it's the weave of the plastic. Hmm, we have one more, one more trial. I've got another plastic. One of our wits had some model cars. You know, the polystyrene, I think it's styrene. These little things that part, you know, model car parts came on. It's just leftover scraps of model cars building. I'll put that on here. We'll see what it does. Different type of plastic, but it's probably a different density. What is creating that noise? Is it a gas escaping from the plastic or is it the way the drop falls through the air? Maybe the tail of it is. See what this one does. I think we used to melt this stuff back in the 60s. Ooh, it looks like it's getting ready to drop. That looks mean. Man, drop that on your pant leg, see what happens. Well. <laughs> Okay, okay. Is this gonna make a noise? Yeah, that's not much of a noise maker. So it's kind of dense. It's a dense plastic compared to the, the woven stuff. So maybe the sound is uh, coming from trapped air, uh, vibrating or something. I'm gonna be thinking about this. I don't know the answer. Let's go back and make, let's find one that makes some noise again. Enjoy the noise. Let's go back to uh, this one. 
So I'd sure like you to share your comments, what you think that the, the source of the noise might be. I could not explain, and I have not yet been able to figure out what the, where the noise is being generated. So here comes similar plastic, but it's in a woven form. See if we can use our scientific acumen. Oh, there it goes. Oh, that's good. Do you hear it whistling? It is stinky. Let me tell you, it's stinky and there's a lot of soot going up. But I can hear the noise going all the way down. And it goes pssst when it hits the water, of course. Maybe this is what happens when a, an alien pops a zit. What do you think? I don't know. Oh, I love the smell of burning plastic in the morning especially when it sings as it drips. Look at that. It doesn't take much to make a wizard happy. Hot dripping plastic. Model car plastic was disappointing. They must not use the same plastic they used to. It was old, reliable. There we go. Light up another piece of rope. The rope did pretty good at making the noise. Oh, well, listen. Oh. Sweet. Oh, the higher I get. Oh, yeah. Maybe we'll have to do this from a much higher position. I'll get somebody in the studio to do it. I'm, I'm too valuable. But we'll get somebody to do a high, higher drop. Listen to it. What's making that noise? Or what's the mechanism of the noise? Listen to that noise. That flame is talking to us. And if you look closely at the flame, you can see it's not falling straight. It looks like maybe it's, it's vacillating as it goes down. Maybe that's the noise. Yeah, it's not falling straight, is it? It's falling straight, but maybe the tail is whipping. A little tail of plastic might be like cracking a whip. My grandfather told me once he heard a falling star, a meteorite that passed through the atmosphere, and he could hear a whoosh. And everybody said, no, you didn't. And later on in life, I heard a whoosh when we were watching falling stars and meteorites passing through, and I thought I heard something. So a few years go by, and I hear the noise coming off of this thing. I said, what's causing that noise? I know it's a vibration of some sort. What's vibrating? If I look at the flame, you can see that it's pulsing on its way down. So whatever's making that pulse is making a sound wave, I think. I don't know. Got to figure it out. I don't know if this has anything to do with meteorites making a noise when they pass through the atmosphere. Whoosh. Moving air somehow to make a whoosh. This isn't really a whoosh. This is a <laughs> Looking in the elevator shaft, fire from the sky, will we hear it? That is the question. The tension is mounting in the studio as we're awaiting for the first droplet of fire to descend from the heavens of the elevator shaft. Oh. I can hear it. I can hear it. Oh, look at it. Oh, that's beautiful. You can hear the buzz, man. That would freak you out on a early Saturday morning after midnight. A 60 year old memory in the making. The old wizard is delighted. It's probably a 15 foot drop. Brings back memories of love deeds and long hair. What is that noise? What is that noise? A fire fart. It is a lightning bug fart. That's what it is, lightning bugs farting. Hey, thanks for joining us at our special meeting here. And, and don't tell the kids about this, please. I don't want to get in any more trouble. We'll see you on TikTok and all the other social medias. Thank you for joining us here at Midnight Science Club. A special fire dropping. We'll figure out what this noise is. We'll get some brain power on it. See if we can figure it out. It's a new musical instrument called the, the B fart whistle. <laughs>